So I was just sitting here thinking about how my life has changed like in the last year and the happier that I am for other people, not that I was never happy for other people, but I was just so focused on where I needed to be. I started changing what I watched on YouTube and started changing what, who and what I followed on Instagram. And I just became a happier person. Like I see a lot of people in the YouTube um, algorithms just posting that like social media is doing this to you and social media is doing that to you. And I don't have TikTok. And it's not, I don't think, it's not because I don't think I can handle um, TikTok as a Gen Zer. It's not that I don't think, because TikTok is very fast paced. Like I have TikTok, but I don't actively go on the account, right? I think it's just because since I decluttered the things that I've been watching, other than Housewives, I'm addicted to Real Housewives, most of them, not, not all of them, but most of them. But I've decluttered a lot of the things that I was consuming on YouTube and consuming on Instagram. I didn't want to go to TikTok and then just kind of it be the same thing all over again because from what I'm told, and I'm I'm not I'm I'm not a I'm not completely educated on it because like I said, I don't go on TikTok like that. The more like if you click on a video, TikTok feeds you, like even if you're just curious, TikTok feeds you more and more of that video that you clicked on. Even though you might've clicked on it on accident or just out of curiosity, it feeds you more because they figure that that's what you're interested in. And I kind of just want to be more in control of what I'm actively looking at. Like I can't help it if I go outside and I see something that I don't wanna see. But if I have an Instagram account or I have a YouTube account and I'm constantly following people that are showing me things that I'm not interested in. It's just more things I'm just gonna have to scroll by. And since we're being fed stuff, like lately I, I've been seeing a lot of people, um, which I don't know why, cause I don't work a nine to five job. So I don't even know how I started seeing all this, but I started seeing I like every other thing. Maybe I clicked on one, um, it, are people who are so happy work, unhappy working a nine to five. And I, I get it, I'm, I'm, I'm in the military, so I haven't worked a nine to five in forever, but like that's all I'm seeing. And it, there are a lot of people that are Gen Xers and older, even, well, we already know Gen Zers, you guys, you guys will walk off a job like in a minute if you don't, if you're not happy and you'll go get another job or whatever. And I was watching a video last night about a guy who was saying how committed that, um, was the guy, it wasn't, I was half asleep, but <laughs> it was like an older woman who was saying that basically Gen Zers watch boomers, um, work and stay at a job for so long, whether they were unhappy, they were um, drained, they were emotionally like, and physically, not physically, but emotionally and mentally abused at the job that they just stayed in. Gen, Gen Xers, we watched that and we kind of fell into that trap too. And then millennials and Gen Zers are more like, you know, deuces. Like, and I'm not talking about older millennials, I'm talking about the younger, the younger side of millennials. And I was like, you know what, that, that does that there's some truth to that there there is absolutely some truth to that so i it's been so liberating seeing people in my age group in 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 the 40s and gen xers saying i am going to change change what we were fed by boomers and i am going to if i'm not happy at a job i'm not saying quit because you got you still got to pay me I, i'm 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 not i'm not bold enough for that i still got to pay bills right but they're pursuing other options like there were so many Gen Xers on here that were talking about how they wanted to start a YouTube channel, but they were afraid. And I was like, and then I started being fed that. And like, I was seeing more and more and more, like people like around my age saying, I don't want to do a nine to five. I don't, I, I, this is not, this is not for me. This is not whatever. And I was like, I'm on the, I'm like cheering them on. Like, yeah, you, you go follow your dreams. If you want to be a YouTuber and be successful, obviously it's not easy to be a YouTuber because number one, if you're shy, you kind of have to get over that. Number two, you know, they have these rules where you have to get the 4,000 watch hours and then have like a at least a thousand subscribers. And I think there's like another another um, way to, to do it. I'm not too familiar with all of it. That's the only part that I know. But I like to see that people are like venturing out and following their dreams and they're not just taking it saying, I'm, I'm not gonna find another 
you know, stream of income. I'm If I work hard and people, I put out good videos and people like my videos, I'm gonna try to do this and they probably keep their other job. And then if they get so successful enough on YouTube, they can possibly, you know, quit their job and do what they like doing on YouTube. And I think that's wonderful. Like I said, I'm not in that category because I retire next year from the military anyways. So YouTube for me, like it's not because I'm running from a nine to five. I just like the fact that I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy for these people. I'm genuinely, and one person in particular, if you watch this, I need you to get on here. I need you, Ange, I need you to get on YouTube because this, Ange is a girl I met on Instagram. Um, I met her on Instagram and we both used to watch YouTube like over 10 years ago and we would like watch like unboxing videos and we and we ended up I don't know how we ended up exchanging um phone numbers but I don't know it was through social media whatever and we just started texting and like we'd send each other voice notes or whatever and she's the like she's freaking hilarious if she got on YouTube I know that she would soar I know that she would soar and she would climb because she, this girl is this girl is when I tell you so funny so funny and then she's into astrology and she knows like a straw she could read you like the back like the back of my hand or in front of my palm if she got on here and just even did astrology where she didn't, I'm giving you ideas, Ange, where you don't even have to show your face. There are people, there's a whole astrology community. Like somebody will follow you and somebody will be grateful to like hear your voice and you read them. I'm sure they'd even call in to you to get advice. Angie is hilarious. She's so, and, and she's in my age group. So I'm just saying like, I'm genuinely happy for everybody who is trying to find different avenues and I'm all for the support. So if you do see this and you're a small YouTuber and you want me to check out your channel, I have no problems um, doing that because I mean, there's enough for everybody to eat. Like there's enough for everybody to eat on YouTube. Like I said, TikTok, I'm sure there is too, but um, I just, uh, my anxiety, I, I can't. Like I, I my watch my husband like get on TikTok and, and slide and I'm like, I'm already on Instagram enough. Um, I'm on YouTube enough now, especially rebranding my channel and participating in vlogtober which has been interestingly enough it's been actually pretty fun i i didn't think i can do it we're still not we're only on the ninth so i'm not burnt out like a thousand percent yet but um surprisingly vlogtober for these nine days i've been consistent and i already have pre-planned videos so um i think i can make it i think i can make it till the end of of vlogtober we just we're just we're just gonna say I'm gonna make it and don't judge me if I don't but let's not even put that in the atmosphere let's just claim I'm going to make it to the end of October also we decorated my office at work and it's gonna be crazy this is gonna be the first year in years that I have dressed up for for Halloween um and yeah I'm gonna videotape what we did because it's or videotape I sound so freaking Gen Xer I'm gonna record I'm gonna record um, what we what we did do at work and I'm gonna upload a video just so you can see how creative my office was because yeah I don't dress up for Halloween but they got me this year I'm gonna be a witch this year so I already ordered my stuff from Amazon but yeah just be happy for people that's what this video is about it's vlogtober so I'm going to give you content I gave you a video earlier today I gave you a cooking video and I gave you a vlog that I did earlier this week and then this is like straight from today like straight from the heart and why not it's vlogtober so I'm going to give you content but um be happy for other people if you are on youtube and you see this video and there is a content creator big or small that you like just support them there's nothing wrong with that and if you don't like them you just don't support them or never click on their stuff or click on the do not recommend it's really like that simple so anyways i hope you guys are having a wonderful wednesday and i will see you guys tomorrow i don't remember what's uploading tomorrow but i already have it pre-done so i there will be a video tomorrow and this one's absolutely too long. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. I am gonna do um, another story time because I, 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 I mean, I don't have thousands of views on my last story time, but I, the people who did watch it, people reached out to me and they said it was pretty entertaining, which I didn't think it was. I thought I kind of bored you, but I have another story time plan. I might film that tomorrow and it might drop later on this week. So if you get a chance, if you get bored, check me out. Talk to you later. Be blessed. Peace.